Welcome to this month's look at some of my favourite in-progress projects being made with the Unreal Engine. I've created these to help get some eyes on indie or small team projects. Links to the games and relevant socials where possible will be in the description below. If you're working on a game or a project that you'd like me to take a look at, be sure to let me know. Links may get blocked in the comments, so you can find me through my email on the about page or on Twitter and leave a comment below just to give me a heads up on where to look. Also, be sure to let me know if there's anything you see here that you'd like to see more of. Every time that I craft one of these videos, a spontaneous theme seems to emerge, like a hidden thread tying some of the entries together. This month, I decided to seize upon that and steer into it. So we're going to be taking a dive into the nostalgic realms of retro and the PSX or PS1 style projects, all stunningly brought together within the Unreal Engine. It's a heartfelt nod to that golden age of gaming, and I can't wait to explore this one with you. Number one. Legend 64 Project. So first up we have Legend 64 Project. This is an indie game being developed with a visual style inspired by the N64 titles, such as The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. The developer is documenting their progress on their YouTube channel, Legend 64. The game offers a gameplay experience similar to those Zelda classics and is currently confirmed for PC. You can support the developers' efforts on the game by joining their Patreon and by following along with the content that they release on their channel. Number two. This is an interesting one created by Martsis, who is making a game inspired by the PS1 and the PS2 eras. So we're getting a kind of PS 1.5 style game being made, whilst taking some creative liberties to add more modern features. The eye catching feature here for many is the impressive looking vehicle damage system, with many other cool features being added to complement the game. This developer isn't only developing a retro styled game, but also a range of popular plugins and assets available to help others create projects in similar styles. Currently, there isn't a demo for this game, but you can find the aforementioned plugins and assets on the developer's itch page and you can watch his devlogs on YouTube. And I have to say, although I have a lot of nostalgia for this kind of generation or era of games, I'm definitely not a puritan when it comes to this type of thing, and I quite like the idea of having this modernization and the modern touch applied to some of these games, just to bring them into the modern day, but with that classic style. Number three, Chronomania. This blast from the past is a retro-inspired FPS shooter game developed by Acid Puppy. The game is a wacky love letter to Quake merged with the neon pop build nostalgia of 80s culture, all while bringing a new, juicy and modern gunplay to the table through fast-paced movement, an intricate combo system and unique time travel abilities, which can be used to dodge, freeze and slow enemies and environments alike. The game draws inspiration from 90s classics like Doom and Quake with a focus on player movement and time manipulation. In the game, you travel through time battling a robot mafia in locations varying from 
Triassic jungles to 80s labs. The main focus is on packing juicy gunplay, smooth movement, and tight level design all into a bombastic 80s narrative. You can download and play the pre-alpha version of Chronomania on itch.io. Number four, Retro FPS. This one feels like a bit of a cheat as it's being developed by the developer responsible for Chronomania and heading up Acid Puppy. However, this Retro FPS is a separate project from Chronomania and the Hatchet Studio channel is still one to check out for the interesting devlogs, including a fairly unique look at the design and general development insights on top of simply following the progress of the project, which I think is super useful and the game's already looking really cool. Number five, Biocrisis, a Resident Evil inspired classic survival horror with PS1 style, pre rendered graphics, and tank controls. Straight out of the 90s gameplay with a fresh fill. Made as part of the 32 bit spring cleaning game jam, and to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise. You can see this one differs a little bit from the others. This isn't based on a YouTube channel, there aren't any devlogs that I find to go along with this. This was just a game that I found whilst browsing itch. It stood out as a really, really good quality example of a Resident Evil inspired game. It's a very short experience, very polished, very cool though. And it really does have that feel of the classic Resident Evil games that just made you feel that little bit more at risk and in danger and really that feeling of helplessness that leans into that horror genre.
And finally, there's a little bit of an extra bonus one here. I've covered this one previously, which is why I didn't want to make it one of the main numbered entries, but it feels like we'd be giving the game and the channel a little bit of an unfair miss if I didn't mention it. So this is made by and covered on the channel Aaron Young, and they're making a game named Project Nostalgia, a PS1 style horror game. And this one has some amazing polish and feel to it. It feels like what a AAA company would have been aiming for back in the day, being made by one person. It really shows what current engines and tech improvements can just offer for the potential of what one person can be making. And even in the current devlogs where everything is still being a, very much a work in progress, you can just feel the level of polish and quality that's gone into this one. So definitely another one to check out. I won't do a full piece on this, as I've said, I've covered it in previous videos. If you're new to this channel or this type of content that I cover and you're enjoying this and you want to see more, be sure to check the link to the full playlist in the description down below and you'll see this project and many others that I've covered that I think are examples of some of the top quality games being made inside of the Unreal Engine. Just wanted to give a big shout out to all of my Patreon subscribers for supporting the channel. And just to say that the channel has been somewhat quiet in recent months. That is about to be rectified. I have a whole bunch of content coming your way. There will be a whole new range of things being released for Patreons exclusively. They will be projects uh, rather than videos. And the videos will start to come back in to YouTube, at least in a weekly upload. So be sure to subscribe, look out for that. Hopefully you're looking forward to the new content. I do have some really cool stuff planned and I can't wait to get that released and uploaded here. As ever though, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all next time.